Hello everybody and uh, welcome to Ashford Hospital and our Christmas message for this year. Suzanne and I are outside one of the marvellous Christmas doors here at Ashford and uh, we're looking forward very much to doing a bit of a review of the year for you. So as ever, it's been a remarkably busy year here at Ashford St Peter's. We started the year with the launch of Together We Care, our trust strategy, and I'm pleased to say is embedding well throughout the organisation. This was followed by the incredible Dragon's Den. It was such great fun to spend time with all of you hearing about your great innovative ideas. Of course, then we moved on to the huge celebrations of NHS 70, where we spent time celebrating the amazing work that the NHS widely, but more specifically the team here at Ashford St Peter's, give to patients every day of the year. Then we moved on to the CQC inspection. And as I said then, I was incredibly proud of the work you all put into that and the incredible result of a good rating. We enjoyed a fabulous afternoon tea at Brooklyn's Museum with Victoria Derbyshire celebrating Team ASPH staff awards. And finally, and you'll all know about this because it's impacting upon everybody, we have begun the important transformation of Ashford and St Peter's to both really improve the quality of Team ASPH's facilities for staff, but also, importantly, the environment for our patients. Some of the highlights for me have been some of the openings that I've attended this year. It started off with the Daffodil Room, which was a place for bereaved parents in our maternity unit. Also related to that, we've got the new parents room in our neonatal intensive care unit for our parents that have to stay with their young babies. The sensory unit in our paediatric wards was another great highlight. It's a wonderful room and really a delightful place. Added to that, the playroom is refurbished, new toys, making that paediatric room really much, much better. Finally, I'd just like to mention an investment here at Ashford Hospital, which is the expansion of our ambulatory care unit, and in particular, the expansion of the infusion suite. That shows some really good investment into what is becoming a really important service for us. This year has also seen the relaunch really of our charitable functions and I'd just like to say a big thank you to all those who've donated to the Ashford and St Peter's charity or any of the charities such as Little Roo that, that are covered by that because we've had really fantastic donations which we will put to very good use over the next year. One of the things I've been really delighted to see has been our strengthening work with local system partners through our work with the North West Surrey Health and Care Partnership and we're really seeing a good mobilisation of additional services, particularly in primary care, working together to provide a much improved quality and indeed access to service across the locality. And in addition, the work that we've done with the integrated care system at Surrey Heartlands level, and I know many of you have been involved with that work, and I thank you very much for representing Ashford and St Peter's so very well and pursuing the needs of our patients through that wider system working. Now, for those of us, like myself, who are working right through the Christmas period, please take time to look after yourselves, spend some time with your family and friends, and I'm really grateful that you are going to be with us through this busy period. But in the meantime, I would just like to say on behalf of the whole board, thank you so much for all the hard work that you're putting in. I know the hospitals are going to be under pressure, and it's just really a question of us coming together as a team, and working and communicating well through this busy period. So I look forward to seeing as many of you as possible over the next few days as we go around judging the Christmas doors and indeed on the Christmas Eve visits and have a very, very happy Christmas. Have a happy Christmas from me.